What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And we are going to unlock the bootloader on our brand new Nexus 6 that we just got in the mail probably not even an hour ago. I just finished editing my unboxing. It's currently exporting. I just hit the export button. So I will link to my unboxing in the description below if you haven't seen it already. This is the unlock bootloader. The reason I'm saying I just got it today is because when you unlock the bootloader, it erases your phone completely. So any and all apps on here are going to be gone. They're going to be erased from your phone. It's going to be just like you got it today, actually, and you set it up in the first place. So I do not recommend waiting until later in the future to root your phone if you plan on doing so, because you'll have your phone all set up the way you like it, and then months down the road, you'll be like, hey, I want to use this app. Oh, this app requires root. Darn it. Now I got to unlock my bootloader, which is going to erase my phone and everything. Once you unlock it, and you root it, you can install a titanium backup, you can back up your apps, and then you'll never, ever, ever have to worry about losing them again. You're only gonna lose them that initial unlock process. That being said, this may potentially void the warranty of your phone. Please keep in mind this is a Nexus device. Once you type Fastboot OEM Unlock, you can always go back and type Fastboot OEM Lock, and you can make it look like you never rooted in the first place. Also, if you're rooted, you should be able to reset the tampered it's, it's it's somewhere hidden, I guess. I it's, I don't. I just found out about it, and you can reset that, and then lo lock it, and it looks like you never ever rooted it. So uh, essentially, you'll be getting your warranty back technically. So just keep that in mind, and let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and power our phone off here. Hit the power off. Cannot believe we're on Android 5.0, and there still is not a way to just press reboot. That is insane. So, Science My 12 is coming out soon, so we're going to be looking at that. We're going to be making a video on how to install it. When custom recovery becomes available for this Nexus 6, there will also be a video on how to install custom recovery. Uh, as of this video, as of right now, today, there is not a root method. Chainfire just confirmed it. He's looking for firmware images to go ahead and do so. So, we're going to hold volume down and power, and it's going to show you a whole bunch of information. Most importantly is it's going to say device is locked. We need to get that to say unlocked. You are going to need the Android SDK. I will have a link in the description to a video that I worked pretty hard on. It's under five minutes and it teaches you how to install the Android SDK and set yours up the way I have mine set up. Uh, I'll put the link in the description and you can go ahead and check it out. So all we're gonna do is go to platform tools. If I can click on the right one and we're gonna hold the shift button down on our keyboard and then we're gonna right click and choose open command window here. All right, now we're gonna find a USB 2.0 cable. We're gonna plug it into the USB 2.0 port on our laptop. And then we're gonna go ahead and hook it, this up to the bottom of our Nexus 6 here. And now it says USB cable connected, USB data cable. So I don't know why it says to connect it. Oh, it's installing the drivers. You can see that right there. A fast boot Shamu S. So that should change very soon. Otherwise, we have to unplug it and plug it back in. Okay, so it's done. Let's go ahead and unplug it and then plug it back in. And it says USB connected. Nice. And it even says it's charging. That's cool. So on here, we're going to type fast boot devices to see if it shows up. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and skip that step. But you can, if you type fast boot devices and you don't see anything, all you got to do is right click on a little start bar here. Go to device manager. And then if you see like a little question mark, you need drivers uh, to do this. So we're gonna type fastboot OEM unlock. And now it popped up something on the phone here and it says, do you want to unlock the bootloader? This will erase your phone, possibly void your warranty and etc. So we're gonna go ahead and press yes and then press the power button to confirm it. And now it says it's unlocking it. Again, there is not a root method as of this video right now. Uh, there should be very, very soon. And I will have a video showing you how to root it. That way you can install apps that require root access. And then later on, we'll show you how to install custom recovery when that becomes available. And then later on, we'll show you how to install custom ROMs when those become available. This is why Nexus devices are so damn sweet. You just, you get to freaking put any ROM on here very easily because there's nothing stopping you from doing so. Now at the bottom here, it says that we are unlocked. 
status code three. So now we can inst- we could do fast boot, flash recovery, uh, or fast boot install recovery, and then the recovery name, and then enter, and then we can flash super su, and we're good to go. Or we can use chain fire cf auto root method, which when that comes out, I'll have a link in the description. It's the last time I'm saying that. And then that doesn't even put custom recovery on your device. You actually keep stock recovery and you can apply official updates. Those will, you know, get rid of your root, but it's super freaking simple to root again. And then you can navigate through like restart bootloader recovery mode and power off and factory and then barcodes and then BP tools and then Qualcomm and then bootloader logs and then start. (laughs) So we're going to go to start. That's a lot of options because, again, this is a Motorola device. Now, when this boots up, you saw the little bootloader unlock right there. When this boots up, we are going to have to log into our Gmail account. We are going to have to install apps and do everything. But again, this is the only, this is the one, on, <laughs> this is the one and only time that you have to do that. If this video helps you out, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you want to see more videos on the Nexus 6, including my first impressions, my <laughs> how to install custom recovery, uh, full review, and many more videos on the Nexus 6, please subscribe. There's a little button down there. It should be red if you have not clicked it already. And if you have, thank you very much. I appreciate you for watching my video and subscribing. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to stay up to date with me, see what videos are coming out next, know what I'm working on, ask me questions. Hey, Josh, get on Xbox Live, get on PSN. My gamer tag and my PlayStation name are in my Twitter bio. All links in the description. This is what would Josh do? And I am out. See, look at that. Oh, it's encrypting. That's cool. Never seen that before. That's that reason that some people say the device is really, really slow. There's a way to disable that once you have root access. And we'll possibly maybe even do a video on that, even though I kind of like having an encrypted phone so people can't just like, I don't know, steal the information from it. So it may make the device boot up a little bit slower, but hey, your data is safer. <laughs> Again, this is what would Josh do. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I am out.